my original video was supposed to be me showing my face talking about how s some of these social justice warriors are using the Orlando shootings in order to promote a narrative that video games that glorify guns should be removed because violent video games is the cause of the Orlando shooting, despite the fact that there is no evidence backing up their claim. But this goes even deeper than that. I noticed something about the Orlando shooting, which is that people are trying to find a scapegoat to put their blames on. Maybe video games or toxic masculinity. First, let's focus on the social justice warrior going after video games because of course somehow video games have some sort of connection. A few people tweeted out about how video games that are glorifying guns should not be made because of the tragedies like this. Even movie Bob Chipman, who is defending Anita Sarkeesian by arguing that Jack Thompson and Anita Sarkeesian has nothing in common, and yet what Bob is doing here is what Jack Thompson has been saying, that violent video games are the cause of massive shootings. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no link to violent video games, especially the ones that glorify guns to massive shootings. If anything, video games prevent violent crimes from happening. Though the $130 million suit was dismissed, Thompson is still convinced that these images inspired three murders. Number one! Jack Thompson! This barred attorney Jack Thompson has long been an advocate against obscenity in pop culture. But this Jack Thompson fella, he sees obscenity as something different than you or I. Basically anything that offends his own delicate personal sensibilities. Over the years, he sued or threatened two live crew, NWA, MTV, Madonna, and recently he's turned his attentions towards the video games. Then I found this video where it talks about the Orlando shooting. The media will use labels like terrorism and, and other things to get us away from understanding how our culture and institutions like the media, like education, like prisons, have actually been complicit in this attack and are complicit in the ways that our bodies are put at risk every single day as a reminder that our human dignity, our lives are connected to the liberation of black people, of Muslim people, of women, of trans people, and so we cannot move forward without working with these communities to end white supremacy, patriarchy. Yes, blame the patriarchy and white supremacy. It is responsible for the Orlando shootings, despite the fact that the shooter was in support of ISIS, and the shooter went to the club to kill gay people. But let's make it a race issue and blame the system that doesn't even exist. Blame white supremacy because despite the fact that the shooter is not white, it involves white supremacy anyway. This is the world we're living in today, where if something bad happens, we must blame it on something that either doesn't exist or a group of people that has nothing to do with it. Just picture if a Christian was to perform the exact same act as the Orlando shooter. The social justice warriors would lose their fucking minds and say that Christianity is evil and bigoted towards gays and thus educating people on how Christianity is built on bigotry. In other words, if the minority was to commit the exact same violent act towards other minorities or white people, they would either be defended or they must find some form of scapegoat to blame on, maybe video games or the patriarchy. None of these people are looking at the big picture. There is a pattern going on with these attacks and it involves Islam. It is no mere coincidence that the bombing in Paris and the Orlando shooting was caused by someone who has a radical belief of Islam. We should not be afraid to point out that these people are in support of a book that supports stoning gays to death. Even this person saying that killing gays is the most compassionate thing to do. Sexuals since at least 2013. Death is the sentence. I mean, look, there's nothing to be embarrassed about this. That death is the sentence. He admits the Islamic death sentence applies in limited circumstances and is not applicable under U.S. law. But he also says the only way gays and lesbians can be forgiven is to die. Well, we have to have that compassion for people. With homosexual is the same. Out of compassion, let's get rid of him now. Islam, the religion of peace, is striking their attacks around the world. Who knows what would happen next? People will be in constant fear of the next Muslim they happen to pass by. But with these social justice warriors around, they will have to accept it. They are not allowed to show concern, otherwise they will be called bigots. 
How many people need to die before social justice warriors come to terms that Islam is not the religion that they should be defending? Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer and keep gaming on. So we need to put an end to this because there's no one specific group that is being blamed. It is the system that has created this violence since the colonization started over 500 years ago. It's me, the Atheist Gamer. Just a quick update. Um, first things first is that my um, video, what should we call it, the Ask BuzzFeed questions, it only has about five entries, which is not good. It's, uh, and it's mostly from YouTubers who are even smaller than I am. So it's a massive disappointment that only five people have joined. And I was supposed to receive a lot more. I know that Swift Sky VA and Persephone 66 was supposed to make one, but they never bothered to make one. I don't know, maybe because they were so busy that they can't make a 15 second video of just asking BuzzFeed a question. But you know what? I'm going to have to extend it. And hopefully a lot more YouTubers would join. And the other thing is, is that if you want to find out even more information about uh, the Orlando shootings, then I suggest you take a look at Naked Ape's video. His video is far more informative. It goes into extreme fucking details about the background of the, the shooter. And, you know, explains that Islam is the cause of the Orlando shootings and nothing more. So, I suggest that you take a look at the video. Links down in the description. I will also be responding to the video that you guys just saw, which is basically about how uh, we, need to, we, need, we need to fight the patriarchy and white supremacy video. Because, you know, the Orlando shooting and shit. Ugh. Not my best worded sentence, but it will have to do. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.